Yeah, I'm just going to explain exactly where you're going with this. All right. um, Yeah, if you guys don't know, taurine is bull semen. (laughs) You probably don't want to know. It sounds sounds as if I'm making this up, but it's it's bull semen. (laughs) Um, It's not actually bull semen. It's synthetic. So they oh, well, that's a nice separation. <laughs> it is a nice separation, but they syn- synthetically make it exactly like the semen. Wow. So it is what it is. I guess but, I guess um, I gotta come come to grips with that. <laughs> well, I mean it's it, Can I get a little vodka with some bull semen in there? Yeah, exactly. Trying to keep my night going. <laughs> Extra semen, am I right? <laughs> um but I mean it obviously leads the question to who was the first person drinking bull semen? Oh my god! It's like I don't want to know. You know what I mean? But I like you know, know, some some guy in the village is I like, guess in is like, lift, like lifting fucking yeah. bricks and like building houses with his bare hands. It's like what the hell is this guy drinking? <laughs> he's he's like you know down there like milking the. All right, I won't get too graphic, but you know at some point there was a guy who did it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, some, uh, that's kudos some up. to him. Yeah, I guess congratulations, buddy. You did it. <laughs> you you ate enough animal semen to find the one that actually helped. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So they're saying some guy with a crazy Thai name that I cannot say. Oh, don't even Fak bother. Fakhafan Kim Thong. Oh wow, nice job. Works as a motorcycle taxi driver. Spends twelve hours a day, six days a week, navigating through congested streets of Bangkok. So he was tired a lot, and he started drinking a glass bottle that looked like it was bought from a fancy pharmacy. All right, scroll down a little bit. Yeah, Inside is a sickly sweet, vaguely medicinal tasting drink that contains caffeine, taurine, glucose, B vitamins, and other various ingredients. The product was called Krating Dang, which was introduced to Thailand in 76. Wow, a long time ago. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so I guess somebody... Somebody in Austria kind of took it over and rebranded it Red Bull. But it had, like, the same logo even way back then, just with a bunch of Thai writing around it. Oh, man, it'd be cool to get one of those bottles. It would. 